have a seven footer on the set. I think for seven the first one. Time. Seven one. Yeah, seven footer. <laughs> you can be seven eight. Seven footer still works. <laughs> so at least that's fair. Um, I need to ask because you're both from the area, Westchester and the Bronx, yes, correct? Sir. What was it like when either you got the call or you found out somehow that you were a globetrotter? Uh, growing up in Westchester, you know, I went to a small high school, went to a small college in the Bronx, uh, Mount St. Vincent, and I never thought that I would ever be traveling the world playing basketball. And it's just a, you know, a test to the work, hard work I put in. And I think it just means a lot traveling and putting a globetrotter name on a map. Yep. And for me, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. When I was nine years old, the Harlem Globetrotters came to my school on 183rd Street in the Bronx, and they was doing the same tricks that we're doing now, passing it under the leg. And I was like, whoa. Wow. <laughs> yeah. These guys are truly amazing. Later on that day, I went home and I spoke to my parents. I said, Mom, Dad, oh, you are who I want to today I'm going to be a basketball player. My mom was like, you're going to be a basketball player. You're too small, Joy. I said, Mom, I don't care. I'm a basketball player. You were small at some point? I was point? small. Wow. I was little, like a little guy. So, and then from there, I started playing basketball, working on my skills, or where I got the opportunity to go to St. Raymond's in the Bronx, old boys school, top 25 high school in the country. And then I went to St. John's in Queens. Um, from there, I earned my degree in business, got a minor in finance. And then I played overseas in China, Thailand, Republica Dominicana, Nicaragua. And then I get the call. Hey, would you want to try out for the Harlem Globetrotters? I paused. I looked at the phone like, what? <laughs> And then I thought about that very moment when I was wow. nine years old and they came to PS9 and it's full circle. So I was like, yeah, I went to try out. That's where I met Buckets. He was doing his thing. I was definitely doing my thing. And then they signed me to a contract a month later. That's fantastic. fantastic. So so if uh, this is completely obviously for families and kids especially, if anyone's never been, what can they expect at the Garden from think, you guys? Uh, you know, going to a Globe Charter game, you just expect some what just happened moments from the dunks to trick shots it's insane skills that we put on the court. And I feel like if you're going to go to the game, it's going to be family fun, and everybody from the oldest to the youngest is all going to have a great time. Yep. Yep. I, I, I'm curious because obviously you both were great basketball players when you were young, and then there are great basketball players, I'm assuming, though, who couldn't be globetrotters, though. Did, how did you know that you could do the tricks, that you could <laughs> bring that extra flair into it? Well, for me, I didn't, I didn't know how to do any of this. And then I got to training camp and I was like, hey, Buckets, <laughs> these guys are pretty serious about the tricks and everything. It's not just a basketball game. We're competitive, yeah. but you got to have your own flair. You got to add your own flavor. And then I was like, okay. So then that's when you get with an older guy, a vet, yeah. and then you start learning tricks and they start teaching you and then you keep practicing it, practice, practice it. It's like anything else in life. If you want to get good at it, you got to practice it. And I love, I love your story about being a young kid and seeing the Globe Triders. And I know you work with young kids in the off season mm -hmm. what's your message to little boys and girls who watch you guys I think for me you know like I said from a small town in Elmsford New York going to a small high school Alexander Hamilton small college I think you know as long as you put hard work and make sure you prepare for your mm -hmm. opportunity you're gonna be good but you know the number one thing just put in hard work you already know oh, yeah, that for sure you know that, man. I was in a tryout with people I'm D3 D1 people play overseas, 6'8", <laughs> 6'9", six, six, and they look at me, I'm 6'1", they look at me like, he can't do that, he nah. can't dunk. And I had to put on a show, but uh, you know, I was prepared for the moment, so that's the best thing, preparation. Yeah, I mean, if you're 6'1", a point guard on the Globetrotters, that means you bring something else yeah, other yeah, than the yeah, dunk. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, uh, you need all of it. 